Yeah, split with MTG back when their video today we're playing the most insane aggro deck on the ladder capable of turn three wins we can deal 17 18 19 damage out of nowhere we're playing Ragdos aggro and this list comes from quad duck he posted up in an ace MTG's discord if you're not a member of that go check out his channel subscribe to the Discord. thanks again quad duck but before we get into the deck if you could like the video it helps this channel so much pushes the video out I really appreciate it all right let's talk about this deck so we got Swiss Cacophony scan. Mono faces a Kakazan. I know what you're saying. This is just Mono Red. No. Okay, we're splashing black, mostly for Kalos Cell Sword, or his Avenger side anyway. For one red, we have target creature deal damage equal to its power, and then we sacrifice it. If we do this with a Cacophony Scamp, it actually deals twice the damage. So we also get Cacophony Scamp trigger, but we can sack anything to the Kalos Cell Sword. In a pinch, we can also play the creature side when we need to. It's a very light black splash, which is awesome because most people think we're just regular mono red, and then suddenly we deal a whole lot of damage out of nowhere. It leads to a lot of sneaky wins. We also have new cards from Murders at Karloff Banner. We got the Frantic Scapegoat. A one mana, one one haste that when it enters, you suspect it. Whenever another creature, if it's suspected, you can then move that over to the new creature. Basically, a suspected creature can't block, but it has menace. We're aggro deck, we're not blocking anyway, so it's all upside. Uh, telling you right now frantic scapegoat is going to become a staple in the new meta model red will adopt it being able to make monastery swiss spear have menace is absolutely insane our, our other new card fugitive code breaker two mana two one haste prowess it also has disguise you, for three mana you can play it face down as a two two with war two and then you can flip it up for five and a red but it costs one less for each instant sorcery in your graveyard and when you flip it up you discard your hand you draw three cards generally we're going to run out cards pretty fast so if you can flip it it's basically draw three for for pretty cheap it's not uncommon to have quite a few instances of sorceries in your graveyard might cost one two mana great card advantage probably never really going to play it that way but it's a nice option and if you ever do get to pull it off you're definitely winning that game other than that we got our bus spells monstrous rays blazing crescendo play with fire for a little bit of removal pretty much the whole deck this deck is really sweet i know i say that a lot but i absolutely love this deck i'm like 36 and 5 with this deck i took down three standard challenges the games are so fast it's great for climbing the ladder if you got the cards give it a try let me know how it goes like comment and subscribe now let's get in these games all right we got a really solid hand with the open up with the kimono turn to goat into swiss spear and give a menace pretty sick play all right there goes the swiss spear opponent's going to cut down our goat unfortunately and we'll get in for one. Here comes Deep Cavern Bat. It's going to take one of our crescendos. We draw the play with fire, so even better. We'll kill that, get crescendo back. Go ahead, pump up our Swiss Spear. Go in for eight there, take them down to ten. We get a mountain off the top of the deck, so at least we're not drawing it. We'll go ahead and play that. Another big attack. This time we're going to buff up etchings. Hit the play with fire, take it down to eight. Swiss spear on top, not bad. Try to go for the throat, unfortunately, but we'll go ahead and get down our cacophony scamp. Opponent's gonna tap out for wedding announcement. We get the Swiss spear, the attack with both of those. Take him down to four, almost there. Probably thinks he's safe with Dinic, but that life game is not gonna help him. But his flash in artifact is sneaky good. So we'll flash that in, put it on the scamp. He does three in the attack, and then we get to do three more when he dies. All right, pretty solid hand. We get to start off with Kamano. We're a little bit threat light, but we got kill spells. We got pump spells, so it's not too terrible. They're gonna hit us with a play with fire. I bet they're looking for a land. Looks like they found it anyway. We're gonna fire off one of these play with fires, see if we can find a threat. We get the goat, so it's pretty good. To get in for three plus play with fire, or we can pump with the crescendo. Lots of options. Get the lightning helix. We're gonna crescendo on the goat. Take him to 14. Get a land off top of the deck. Gonna play this invasion, killer goat, unfortunately. We do get the Swiss spear, get to pump him up. We'll 
and ditch the goat. Take him down to nine. We got the thrill seeker hand, so that's pretty good. He gets down the adversary, starts trying to flip his invasion. We got the Kamano. Should let us get in here. See if he blocks. He decides to. Probably could have went ahead and played the thrill seeker there and just pumped up a Swiss beer. It would have saved him there. He gets to flip an evasion. Attack the other one. That's pretty sweet here. See if he's going to block. We'll flash in our equipment. We'll trade there. Play a Thrill Seeker. Make it a 4 4 thanks to Kamano and its own triggers. He gets down a card I've never seen before. 2 3 Haste Flying. Not terrible. And we're just going to shoot him for 6. Alright, pretty solid hand. We can give a Swiss Spear Menace, which is always good. We got the Crescendo, Monstrous Rage, so should be a pretty good game here. Let's just flood the board, take him down to 16. Probably pretty much kill him next turn. Let's play the Deep Cavern, see what he takes. All right, so we get rid of the Rage. We draw the play with Fire. So a lot of options here. We'll just go attacking, see what he does. So we'll Crescendo, hit a camp off of it, not bad. Bitter Triumph, he pays the life, which is pretty rough for him. We'll play with fire. Monster Rage, that should be game. Just about anyway. Alright, solid hand. We got turn one Kamano, plenty of play with fires. Got Godric on three. And Monster Rage, we're just gonna go ahead and take this out right now. And get down our second Kamano. Should be a quick game. Evangelist. It's kind of dangerous to leave around, so we're gonna get rid of that here in a second. It's helping you block, but he didn't. So, it's more damage for us. Here comes End of a Call. Some triggers. Got the play with fire. Unfortunately, she's out of play with our range. Unless we use both of them. I think we're just going to go face with all of them. And that way we can kill them with Cacophony Scamp Trigger. Alright, pretty solid hand. We can Kamano into the goat and give Swiss Spear Menace. Pretty sweet play right there. All right, opponent's gonna start off with a Kami. I think that changes things. We're gonna pump up Swiss Spear, kill the Kami, get in for three here. Ossification, we lose our Swiss Spear, unfortunately. And there goes the Fugitive, it's a pretty good draw. Play the Scapegoat, and now we can give Menace to the Frantic Scapegoat. Opponent's already down to 11. Play some Naturalist. Life gain could be an issue, but we should be able to get around it, especially with Monstrous Rage and Scamp. So player Scamp, and we'll go attacking. Let's see what he does. So block the Scapegoat. We're going to take out this Naturalist, I believe. We don't want him gaining too much life, especially as big as he can grow it with Calyx and all the other enchantments they play. Got him down to six. He plays Kami. Looking pretty good here. Ah, another ossification. Lose our fugitive. At least that's what I would take. Although you should probably respect this scamp. There goes Kalos Self Sword. Alright, we're gonna shoot him for two here. And then we can play the Cell Sword as a blocker. Plays another Naturalist. And an Audacity. That's pretty rough there. We do get a Monstrous Rage, which isn't too bad. We can attack here. And opponent messed up. He should have blocked with the Naturalist. Now we just play Monstrous Rage on Kamano, and we trample over for exactly four. 
All right, let's get into our final match here. Another sweet hand. We got the goat. We got a scamp. We got Godric and a thrill seeker. He's gonna get down to another veteran. My game. It's not terrible. I guess this deck, but it's not as good as probably people think. So we're so freaking explosive. So the battle mouse turns on a celebration and goes attacking. All right, so we swing in here. He doesn't block. So we're going to pump up Scamp. Don't take the trigger. We hit a land. That's good for down to three. We can play the Godric. He gets turned on with the Celebration Trigger. Thanks to come on up flipping. But it's going off a little bit here. It's going back up to 16. Another attack from our opponent, which probably wasn't a good idea, honestly. We draw a land. We flip our Kamano. The slam Godric. Oh, he's flying. Pretty much take anything out on his board. The Monster's Rage here. Thought about pretty Monster's Rage on Cacophony Scamp. Did a bunch of damage, but I decided just to take out the Bunny Corn. Another big attack for our opponent here. Alright, we draw a land. Play Thrill Seeker here. Can't block the scamp thanks to the goat giving it menace. Sacrifice it, take him down to three, and then that's it. All right, guys, those are the games. Check out Frantic Scapegoat. What an insane card. Giving a Monastery Swiss Spear or Fugitive Codebreaker Menace is pretty stupid. Fugitive Codebreaker in itself is pretty powerful. You're probably never really going to use this disguise mode, but if you somehow do, drawing three cards pretty much gets you right back into the game. But a one two Prowless Haste is still an insane value. Blazing Crescendo is amazing. Kamano, we already knew that. Mirren Bank. Splitter is freaking awesome. And then, of course, Godric, Audelian Thrill Seeker, and Callus Cell Sword all just work together and made this deck absolutely insane. I'm like 36 and 7 with this deck. Pretty insane win rate. I don't know if that'll translate in the best of three, though. If you want to see that, comment down below, let me know, and we'll throw together a sideboard and we'll give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.